everybody reacts to quantum physics like if they were watching some kind of science fiction movie. So people come with a lot of interest to know a little bit more how we actually harvest those properties to do what we do. And we believe that this technology is a must for the years to come. The Quantum Flagship has organized what we call the European Quantum Space. And this is basically a big stand where we have, on the one hand, like some modules to explain some of the pillars of the Quantum Flagship, but also where we invited uh, companies to show some of the advances that they've done in the last year. The impact of quantum technologies is going to be immense. Uh, there's no doubt about the fact that this will influence uh, pretty much all walks and all sectors of the industry and through that, of course, also society. I see that quantum technology will make a real change in the world in drug discovery for creating new materials and other types of bio and uh, chemistry related use cases in that way. Because very people know it, but we're actually on the cusp of the next quantum revolution. And this is because quantum technologies affects us from the way that we communicate, but also the way that we live on this planet. All of these things will be profoundly touched by quantum sensing, quantum communication, quantum computing, as well as quantum simulation. This year, for the first time, we have companies, we have industrial organizations, we have startups. We have one from the Netherlands, one from Finland, and then we have three from Spain. So it is very exciting to see how these ideas coming out of academia, research institutes, are becoming reality in the industry and with very promising proposals. We see a lot of new companies actually who want to commercialize this kind of technology. At the moment, we are more talking about shorter term applications like UKD or quantum random number generators. Uh, but we also see some new startups which are starting to develop new technologies, trying to build quantum hardware and quantum software for building the, the quantum internet. So now it's very easy to get into conversation, say this is the product you can use, companies see it more tangibly, and this is accelerating things. Generally, quantum technologies are booming right now, and this is what you really feel here at the, at the Mobile World Congress. So, of course, we have had uh, various kind of visitors, and we have uh, had an opportunity to tell more about the IQM, and everyone has been very much impressed that there is a European company who has progressed so well in this field. The conversations are actually good fun, and it's great to be able to have them because I think it's important that we let the world know what this quantum universe is capable of. I think the responsibility of the quantum flagship is to really establish a strong base for other businesses to come in and learn what they can do. So right now we should really focus on educating businesses and seeing how they can benefit from quantum technologies in general. The quantum world is slowly getting into the conversation here among people so we will expect to come here next year again and especially having the first ramp-up phase of the quantum flagship have ended and we expect to have more results to be able to showcase here next year.